Today I'm gonna do the two skeletons in a bath candle with a twist. I'm gonna start by putting a large pot on a small burner. That way when I put these candles in, I'm gonna put them along the edge and it's not gonna be directly over the center part of that heat. Now, while the wax is melting, I'm gonna grab some of these bones. We've got a black bowl and I grabbed some of this like twig stuff and I'm just gonna glue one little part first. Once it's attached, I'm gonna spray paint it black. Also, when you get these little like lines from the glue, let that happen because that will add more dimension to it and it'll actually look like spider webs. So now I'm gonna purposely add more of those spider webs. What I do is I just put a little bit right there and then I let it like stretch. See, it kind of stretches along. So another way you can do it if you want thicker ones is squeeze this and just keep squeezing it just very slightly so that it keeps coming out. And then that way you can make like bigger webs. So now that I have all these webs and the vines, I'm just gonna add a couple of these bones along the edge like that. And you can also do some, you know, if you want, like have them crossed slightly just so that they don't all look exactly the same. So our bowl is all done and now we're gonna spray paint it. Just start with light coats. This is what the bowl looks like once it's all spray painted. And one thing I want to note is do not spray the inside or around the edge because once you light these candles, you don't want to be burning in those toxic fumes. Once the wax has completely melted, you're going to want to pull out the wick. And we do want to save all three of these. So just place them on a paper towel for now. Now we're gonna take our candle ends and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the end here and stick that in. Before I dump this wax into my candle, I am gonna add some essential oils and I usually do about 10 drops per ounce. Now we're gonna start pouring the wax in. Now grab your skeletons and I'm gonna end up using two. You do want them to be sitting and I'm gonna try to go around the little string there. All right, and then we're gonna put the second guy in here. Make sure he's sitting. I'm just gonna put this over here and this one this way. Now that our candle is hardened, I'm going to snip these off here. Try to get them close, but not too close. And now you have a cool candle where it looks like two skeletons are taking a bath.